Coming up on today's Panther Beat. We take a look at the Naroto girls on the soccer team. Your Panther Beat starts now. What's up, O'Fallon? I'm Jet. And I'm Rennie. Welcome to your Panther Beat for Friday, April 26th. Our girls' soccer team is ranked number one in the nation, according to Soccer Wire. They've also won two state championships in the past three years. And there's been a Naroto on the team each time. Here's Mia and Anthony with the story. Emerson, Claire, and Delaney Naroda have been playing soccer together since they were young. They have all transformed into the state champions that they are today, playing soccer on the OTHS girls soccer team. Our parents, especially our dads, put us into it at an early age, and we just kind of fell in love with the game that way, especially by playing with each other. It was definitely more fun, and that's how we just came to enjoy soccer so much. It's a blessing. Right, having everybody from the Naroda family involved in the program, and that's, you know, I've coached for, this is my seventh year as the varsity head coach, and I've had a, I've had a Naroda every single year that I've been the head coach, from Josie, my first year, all the way down to like Delaney now as a sophomore. Josie Naroda was the first to be on the soccer team and was a role model for the younger Narodas as they were growing up inspiring them and allowing them to keep the Naroda legacy going. I think just her as an older sister in general is like she's like a role model. When she was senior she scored two really amazing goals that got them to state and it really inspired me to do the same when I scored my super sectional goal to get us to state as well. She won state first so she kind of set the tone for us and it was really cool to see her do that. Their everyday bond off the field allows them to all be in sync while being on the field. So we have a little goal in our backyard and we would always go wild. Sometimes we'd hit it onto the roof of our neighbors. We understand each other's movements and gameplay and style. I know what's going through their heads in tough moments and I know what they're thinking so that I can help them. Emerson is planning on playing for the University of Northern Alabama next year and Claire is planning on playing for SIUE after she graduates. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Mia and Anthony. How about the New Rota legacy? That's crazy, right? Yeah, there's some real rock stars. And our girls team is currently undefeated. Looks like they're on their way to make another state appearance. In other news, prom is right around the corner. Juniors and seniors, before you can buy a ticket to prom, all school fees must be paid by May 1st. Bring a zero balance fee form to Miss Sipe in room 1025 to be added to the ticketing system. Tickets are on sale now until May 6th or until they are sold out. Guest tickets can be bought in room 1025. The OTHS Reading Challenge ends next Wednesday. Make your final entries into Beanstack before the prize drawing next week. Visit the IMC with questions. Now over to your Panther Sports. Hey, O'Fallon. I'm Jordan with your Panther Sports. Our boys track team are the St. Clair County champions. Our Panthers ran great in all events, winning the 4x8, the 4x100, and the freshman-sophomore 4x4. Eli Greenstreet won the 1600, Cy Henson won the 3200, and Dylan Yabarra won the 800 meter with Robert Watkins right behind him in second place. Congratulations, Panthers. Our boys tennis team took down the Belleville West Maroons 9-0. Leading the way for the Panthers were Ben Banalstein, Cole Beard, Rowan Brunner, Carson Greenlow, Jet Mythlow, and Lex White. Congratulations, guys. In today's sporting events, our boys volleyball team travels to Lafayette High School Boys track runs in the Triad Invitational, and girls track runs away at Collinsville. On Saturday, boys lacrosse takes on Rockbridge, and boys tennis hits the road to Chicago to play in the Lincoln Way East Invitational. Good luck to all our sports teams. Now over to your Panther birthdays. Hi, O'Fallon. I'm Lucy with the weekend birthdays. Birthdays for today, April 26th, are Caden Filson, Mariah Huller, and Sydney Kitchell. And a special happy birthday to Mr. Blake and Miss Sipe. Birthdays for tomorrow, April 27th, are Jack Barnes, Gus Bridgewater, Landon Dipple, Easton Doe, Braden Keller, Kennedy Martin, Ariana Osborne, and Aaron Pruitt. And a special happy birthday to Mr. Espenshide and Mr. Mathis. Birthdays for today, April 28th, are Rayleigh Alf, William Catalano, and Terrell Glasper. And a special happy birthday to Mr. Sarah. That's all for me. Let's pass it back to the news desk. And now for your club news. Spanish clubs club is selling pulsetas for $5 in the cafeteria next week. Pulsetas are hand-woven bracelets made by Central American artists to promote fair trade. Class of 2024, send your student photos to stuco at OTHS.us by this Friday to be included in the bulletin board outside of the attendance office. FBLA's end of the year party is May 8th. Check your email to RSVP by May 5th. Chemistry club meets today after school in room 811. That's it for today, O'Fallon. For up-to-date news, videos, and more, 
head over to our Panther Beat YouTube channel. Peace.